One very interesting feature in this new version of Adobe Illustrator is the ability to use bitmap images in brushes. Here we have a few examples. For example, this vine that goes across the island is created using that technique. But also, let me zoom in here because this is a nice little image here. The shark tooth reef is actually created with a brush that uses shark teeth. Let's see how that works. Let me change artboard and go to this one here. Basically, what I did is I created this um, bitmap image using Photoshop, and I've created a transparent background for it. So when, where there's white here, the image is actually transparent. In order to create a brush that works just like this one, and that has then been used in the poster, all I need to do is to open the brushes panel and actually take my image, click and drag it into my brushes panel here. And then, of course, choose Pattern Brush and say OK. At that point, you see that my tooth has already been used as a side tile. But of course, I also need to define the corner tiles, the outside corner tiles and the inside corner tiles. So to do that, I will simply go here into the menu. And this is something that in the past uh, was a little bit more complicated because I would have to create specific um, uh, symbols in Adobe Illustrator and then use those for corners inside of my pattern brushes. This is much easier now because I can define right here inside of the um, uh, pattern brushes options exactly how my corners are being constructed. So I could choose from auto centered, which centers the tooth in the corners and squeezes it a little bit to fit it in. Or I can make an auto between so that I have um, the, the tooth cut a little bit so that it fits inside of the corner. Or I can slice the image and I can even add the, an overlap for the images. So if I choose overlap, for example, you will see that uh, two of my teeth actually overlap on each other to create the corner. But in my case, what I want to use is simply auto-centered. And also for corners that are inside, the inner corner tiles. And again, I will choose auto-centered. And you will see that the image fits automatically in the space that it will be able to use. And then, of course, I can choose how to use the brush. If I want to, uh, to flip the teeth along, and I can flip them on the brush itself. I can flip the teeth across my path, like upside down. I can choose stretch to fit or add space between the teeth to actually fit all of my teeth in a regular manner or approximate, uh, approximate the path. All right? So let's use just stretch to fit. Basically, we're done. And I can click OK. And at that point, my newly created brush is down here. And all I need to do is to select the object I want to ap apply the brush to, select the pattern brush, and apply it. Of course, here now it came in much too big. So let's make that path uh, 0.2. And here we have it. We have all of my teeth following the path. What is really cool about that is that the path is editable, right? I can change the path, and the teeth will follow the new path. So by using my direct selection tool here, let me just select one of those points and move this, this point to another uh, position in the image. And you see that my teeth actually follow my design exactly. Okay, So the ability to take raster images and apply those on your brushes really opens a whole new world of possibilities. I hope you will enjoy that new feature in Adobe Illustrator. Thank <laughs> you.